I'm Levi, a creative adventure seeker and explorer by heart. A few years ago, I set out on a mission, a mission to find the most unusual, inspired, and unique one night stays in America. And I'm taking you with me. This is Tiny b, &B. Let's go. excited to give you guys a tour of this place today it is super cool it is 100% desert vibes and it's also off the grid Arizona right next to the Grand Canyon we are about 30 minutes outside of that very secluded and private you'll notice that there's lots of dirt roads whenever you are pulling up to your place which makes it feel even more secluded there's nothing around you really there's a couple other places that I stayed at here that are kind of close by so you pull up and you make it to your Airstream right behind me as you can see there's a huge deck on this front part of the Airstream that is what drawn me to it I think this deck changes the whole Airstream 100% it looks super cool and it's just sitting here in the middle of the desert and it looks really nice especially during the sunset and this deck is as long as the airstream you got some seating out here for it and if you look up you have some lights that string all over the top of this so at night it lights up really nice and if you just want to turn them off you can and look at the stars because there's no light pollution or noise pollution out here so you can see every single star it's really nice perfect stargazing spot and then you can just head to the Grand Canyon right afterwards or anywhere else up here in northern Arizona <music> Airstream, if you don't know what that is, it's a vintage style camper. It is definitely its own thing. It stands out. You'll know it whenever you see one, what an Airstream is. It's just this aluminum metal all on the outside. So it's really reflective and just really unique looking. If we just take a walk on the inside, you'll notice that the aesthetics is really nice in here. This place really displays the desert vibes in here with the decor and everything. You walk in, you're greeted to your living area in quotations. They have a bed right here under all these windows, which is really nice and all these blankets and pillows of course and right next to that they have your seating area at the table this does not convert into a bed it is stuck here which I think is nice because I don't want to mess with transforming this into a bed and they have drawers right underneath the chairs right here for extra storage and you can also put storage underneath this bed that they placed here so it's really cozy and comfortable in this little area it's not too crowded at all you can sit here and eat your lunch and you can also open up and enjoy all of these windows right here they all open up and it's really nice to just let the air flow throughout the day and at night to let the air flow in and you can just listen to all the noises at night there's also these vents all along the top roof part of this airstream you can open these up and it just lets that air flow a little bit better some of them have fans on them you can turn the fan on and just let that air flow just go through more of this Airbnb because there's no AC but keeping the windows open is very practical I didn't find any issues with it at all because it hardly ever rains and it gets really cold at night too so it kind of evens out and then also right next to your bed is this little area for your towels and just put your shoes or whatever you want Then you continue on and your kitchen is next. This is a really nice kitchen for such a small space, which is this Airstream. They're typically very small. This one's pretty small, but you have everything you need in the kitchen. You have a stove and a stove top, which is really neat to see in here. You got tons of drawers and storage. You got all your kitchen utensils, cooking utensils. You even have a sink and even up above, you got these other storage areas for your other dishes. And then on the other side, you have a mini fridge, which is nice and a huge drawer that holds just random stuff that you might need for having a fire or if you want to play some games and stuff like that. If you continue 
on, there's more storage you just open up. There's a coat rack in here, hangers to put all your stuff in. There's some cushions and then there's some blankets all throughout here. And then on the other side, you have your bathroom. This bathroom is very small, but it's not bad. You walk in, it's a composting toilet, which is expected for tiny house trailers or campers or anything like that. You have a sink and then you have your shower. It is heated by this unit right here. I'm not too sure what it does, but there's a propane tank on the outside. So I'm guessing it just immediately heats the water as it's pumping through and you can see what the water temperature is, which is really nice. And yeah, the shower is pretty small. So if you're a very large person or really tall, this probably won't be working out for you, but you can take the handle off, I guess. And you could probably put the handle through the window outside and take a shower outside. I thought about that this morning. I thought that was a cool idea. So that might work. I did mention this is all off grid. So if you're wondering about the electric or the water I'll get to that later but this is the bathroom it also has a window right here which is nice you can also close the blinds on it there's also blinds on all the windows out in the living area as well they do provide the basic toiletries that you need like shampoo and stuff and towels and all stuff like that but you walk out of that and it's just a sliding barn door that closes and stretches bathroom and then you'll finally make it to your master bedroom area it's just this backspace and the entire space is filled up with the bed so it's really comfortable and cozy but if you're looking for space they just filled it all up with the bed there's a couple cubbies up on each side and of course you got your huge window in the back that you can cover up if you want at night or just leave it open now I did mention this was off-grid. How are they getting electric and water? Well, all the electric, there's outlets everywhere, which is nice, is ran by these solar panels on the outside, which I think is super cool. They have this huge tank of water behind your Airstream, so whenever you turn the water on, it just all comes from here. And other than that, that's it. I would highly suggest this place to someone that is coming to the Grand Canyon or just wants to go out into the desert and be very secluded and enjoy the scenery. This place is a really cool one to check out, and it's not just like a hotel room or anything like that. It's not a tent really out in the middle of nowhere this place is really nice i think i enjoyed my stay here a lot now let's go check out our next home today we are at the platform 1346 it is a converted world war ii train located in tennessee is full of charm every little detail has been looked at and has been fitted with the vibe of this home everywhere you look there's something interesting to look at so whenever you first pull up in this property it is pretty secluded far back from the road which is really nice and you're greeted to the sign out front it says platform 1346 I believe and the driveway parking area is interlaced with the railroad ties right here which adds a cool texture to the driveway and it's not just that plain gravel I like that touch a lot because it definitely fits in with the train right here. So you pull up and you can see there's seating outside if you want to enjoy your time outside. Out on the other side of the property, there's a little pond if you want to feed some goldfish. There's also a swinging bed right here. And there's also a horseshoe pit right over here as well. This Airbnb welcomes you with beautiful dogs. They run up to you whenever you walk up and they are the friendliest, cutest dogs in the world. So if you're a dog person, definitely take advantage of that. Anyway, continue to train. The outside is full of character. It's military green. It just looks like something out of a movie. It is sitting on a pair of tracks. So it just looks like it's being in use and everywhere you look from the front to the back, it just looks super cool. It has the doors on the front and back. It's just like if it was connected you could walk in between the carts and there's a couple windows throughout that look really nice and having the rust mixed in with the green it just looks super cool there is a patio area you can hang out and chill out with everybody you bring to the spot or your significant other you can come out here eat lunch or dinner and enjoy the surrounding peaceful nature and on the back side is another little deck area that we will get to later but let's just continue on and walk on the inside of this home so you walk in this front door and you're kind of greeted to the middle of this train so let's start with the far right side of this train you got your entire kitchen it takes about one third of this train and the aesthetics of this 
fit so perfectly with this train. I am very impressed with how they did it. They left the exposed roof and they left as much of the flooring, original flooring as they could. And it just looks really, really beautiful. All the kitchen amenities are really modern and really high quality. You've got a really nice sink and a full stove with the stove top right here. And over the sink, you have a nice window that looks out into the back and lets in a lot of natural light. Under that, you got really nice cabinets and that are full of the kitchen utensils and amenities that you would need. And if we just continue on, you got your full coffee set up and you got a few other things that they added in like spices and hot cocoa and stuff like that. You got cabinets above. If you open them up, they got all your dishes in them. And right below, you got more cabinets. So you're not going to miss anything with this kitchen. And now last is the fridge over here on the right side. They provide some stuff in the fridge for you, which is really nice. And it just all blends in really nicely with this train. Over here on the right side, you got your bar seating area to eat and it's sitting right in front of these windows which looks really nice especially when the sun is setting and the lights just flooding in and something really cool is above on each side are these lights now these lights are kind of located all throughout the home they are a warm vibe and it just adds to that coziness of this train if we just continue on with the rest you enter the living space it's a couch with a coffee table it's just perfect just for those chill out nights when it gets super dark and you come in for from your night of exploring and you just want to chill. The bed is also a sleeper sofa, so if there's more than just two of you coming, uh, they can sleep here. This Airbnb has been mentioned in Airbnb magazine before. If you are subscribed to that, I highly suggest it because it's a really cool magazine to check out everything Airbnb. Continuing on from there, you got the front door that we walked into, and then you also have your dresser to put all your luggage or clothes in whenever you stay here. And above that, you got some cool decor with the sweet original window. Right next to that, you got your really comfortable bed. It is nice. And one cool thing about this is that it is a Murphy bed. So whenever you're done, you don't want more space. You can just pull this up and hang it up basically and just get it out of the way and make a lot more open space during the day. And whenever you do that, you can also lower this desk area and you can sit here and write or read or whatever you want to do. So they have an additional desk area, which is super cool with this light above it and it just adds a nice vibe to this area. And now let's continue down the hallway on this back area. On the right, you got your bathroom. You just slide this door open and you got a really nice spacious bathroom and it's really done nicely. You got a claw foot bathtub that is teal blue, which is really cool on the left side and all your amenities that you need in a shower. And then on the right side, you got your sink and toilet and everything from the lights to the tile on the floor. It's just really nice and high quality in here. And now if we continue on with the back part of this hallway, you see it looks like there used to be maybe a sliding door here when this train was actually operational and they kind of left it. It can't open or anything, but it looks really cool and you got the windows right here. And then on the back part right here, you got some hangers to hang up some stuff. You got some extra pillows and blankets if you need it, but this is a little nice area to put your stuff. And it is also where you can use the back door that leads to the back deck patio area. So it's just another way to get around and out or in this home. If you're a train lover, this is definitely the best train on Airbnb in my opinion to go to.